finally time. I have owed you a rodent for several days. And now, it is bratwurst. Look at him. They have to hold him with two hands because he is just so very large. <laughs> He's such a big boy, Bratwurst. You're such a big boy. But he is so gentle. He is so tame. He loves pets. He's just very, very large. And he's not even, like, he's a little overweight. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. He's a little bit overweight. But he's, like, got a back leg. He's not as hilariously obese as some of our rats were. He's just fucking huge. You're like a huge soup. <laughs> it draws their aggression. I ran out of stamina. I think you also ran out of stamina based on the fact we both just sort of stood there. I'm sorry! What? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's like, what hit me? You I'm clapped sorry. me over the back of my head. I'm sorry! You just broke the entire body. <laughs> I just fucking... Dude, you, my head is in my fucking rib cage now. <laughs> I... Fuck me. <laughs> you fucking you, you, absolutely you bombed. You executed me. <laughs> that was awful. Holy fuck. That was so much damage. <laughs> I hit very hard. Fuck. Uh, I'm summoning fucking everybody. And we are going to absolutely gangbang whatever poor motherfucker is on the other side is teleporter or millennia who will probably be able to handle all of us. Okay, I kind of feel bad. It actually hit the 5%. We can't. He's a child. It's a literal child. It's an actual literal child. We can't. I'm so fucking sorry. You don't deserve this. I am so fucking sorry. Oh, oh, they're marching. Oh, they're fucking marching, dude. The boys. Oh no. Oh no. It's an actual child. Literally, or like a halfling. They're fucking indistinguishable, honestly. Alright, my boys. Be gentle. Please, men, remember that while he may have lost his mind, it is a literal child, okay? You don't need to go all in. We don't need full force. Attempt to take him alive if you can. It shouldn't be a massive difficulty to force him into captivity. It's one small child. Don't let him piss you off, Okina. He's still a little kid. Oh no. They're not being gentle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so fucking sorry. You, I'm so fucking sorry. You, oh, you don't deserve this. He deserves better. He's a very sturdy infant child. I'll give him, he's a tanky fucking halfling. All right. He actually fucked up, Okina. Oh, he's getting rivers. Oh, he stabbed him and he pulled out the rivers of blood. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh God. Unfortunate. Your own horse power 
firebombed you off a fucking overpass. Holy shit. We'll go ahead and dig it up for you. It's kind of like how when you go to Taco Bell after a long day. Oh my god, if this is the three bandits. I felt it in my soul. Dialga spoke to me from eight seconds in the future. Down. There is more down. This is not the same one you can tell on account of there's an explosive. A different wreck, Captain. There's another one. Ooh. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I found, so, so I found a powder keg. Um, I shot my harpoon at Squidish at your name tag because it said that you had treasure. And I was like, oh, I'll harpoon him. I'll be useful. I'll the east part of the swamp. So we'll go to Canifis, so I'll get more monkfish. We'll see how hard this punches me in the mouth when I eat it. I hope it's not like fucking 10 or something. <laughs> I hate this fucking game. Hi. That was... Oh, I don't know how I could click more directly on Sertan. <laughs> Get up! I don't know how I could click more directly on Certifi. Why does the bench have click priority? <laughs> I don't want Tiffy time. I want to go on a quest, okay? <sighs> Good day, Proselyte. Is there anything I can do for you? No, shut up, Void Knights. <laughs> Nobody saw that. It didn't happen. Do you have any jobs for me? Oh, you are eager, aren't you? No, shut up. It wasn't on purpose. I misclicked. As a matter of fact, I do have a small design. Would you lend me a hand with this? Uh, sure. Guy who uh, voiced one third of his line. What's up, buddy? It is much appreciated. And there it goes. I'm exhausted because my children are unable to sleep at nights. Why not? My eldest son is too afraid to sleep because of the rowdy slaves. Oh no, that's terrible. How can I help? Would you be able to go and find some... What? I... What the fuck? Jesus, Jagex, you can't put shit like this in your game. That seems unnecessary. How many exactly? Could you kill four rowdy slaves? You can't put shit like this in the video game. Jagex, you can't do this. How the fuck is this game... Jagex. We renamed everybody in Paul Nivnich. Retconning and rewriting the lore of the town. Considering the uh, inheritance passed down to Ali. Because although the story of the entire city and the region is about why everyone changed their name to Ali to try to scam this money. Sensitivity or whatever. Also, Jagex. Sure, why not? How... How could you possibly... Not even super recently, at, like, any point... That I have been fucking alive... 
put that in the game. 2017. Oh, hey there. This is a weird fucking bit, isn't it? You want to watch a fully grown adult human get lost and then stuck on an incredibly simple puzzle for like four hours? Stick around. Why, hello, everybody. It's probably not a huge amount of everybody, as it's a combination of a Friday afternoon, a random start time, and it being like 3 15 p.m central cloud carnitaris one you got the cannonballs though you're here thanks for the cannon and welcome in everybody it's a weird one yeah i had to just all the stuff has to happen at 1 p.m in my life consistently that's apparently just how we do things with with setup that's how we do things with setup for uh government jobs which you know maybe someday within the next fucking three months i'll actually start doing fallout I have a nuclear code, probably. I want to see if it works. And as an added bonus, if you order now, we also have Larkin. Hi. This is a good fucking day for uh, Larkin to be here. Yeah. This is the this is like the the culmination of the OG main storyline here with the nuke launcher ten thousand. So caveat: yes. I'm not confident I have the code. Obviously, on account of I just attempted to crack it myself. So I have. Three possibilities, one of which I'm more, a little bit more confident than the other two. Question. Does it take a nuclear key card if you get the code wrong? I wish I knew. Because... I, I doubt it. I would say I doubt it. I would agree with that. But a part of me feels like that's happened. Like, I feel like that was a thing that happened. Maybe it's just like you put the key card in and then do the code separately. So I feel like once the key card's in, it's just ready to go until you get the code. I don't know. That though. would be better because if I have to guess three times and then find out all three of those are wrong and that took me three key cards, I'm not really sure how many I have. I should probably look. It's several, but I don't think it's a lot more than that. I can bring some extras. All right, normally I start every stream by doing the daily challenges, but honestly, I don't even fucking care about that right now. I want to shoot this nuke. We can do the daily challenges yes. after. Nuke, nuke first. Nuke, nuke. Challenges later. So, here is my notepad from yesterday with all of the Bingles action on here. I'm sad that Bingles is not the correct solve for the anagram. He's going to try again! <laughs> Nor is the glue's bin. But I think we're in the right place of blue wings. We we did some science. We tried some things. Ended up at blue wings. Lubings. Lo now that doesn't work. Lubings is one of my guesses too. Yeah. That is apparently like an actual term. Something something automotive. Like the lubings are a, a thing. Wouldn't that not um, have the E though? Yeah, it, it does have the E. Oh, it does. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, no, that. apparently it's uh, the same with blue wings, actually. Both of those words, either with the E or without the E, are both correct. I see. On both blue wings and blue wings, technically. Oh. And then bluesing, also legally a word. Yep. Yeah. So I think <laughs> tier list blue wings, bluesing, blue wings is the order I would try them. I think me is bluesing, lubings, bluings is to me. I think bluings is the least likely. Okay, so the only reason I have bluings, bluings is meta knowledge. Um, I got to a point after finding those three where I was getting fucking frustrated because there's no way to check if this is the right answer. So far, this so I, has been Jester up. Yeah, me, just look it up, right? I did, well, I didn't look it up, but I did put the string into an anagram solver just to see it would come out. And the only thing the anagram solver popped out was bluings. That was the that? only one that it had as an actual word. 
I believe. Do you know if, um, do you know what, what silo it's for? Alpha. Okay, perfect. Alpha, or I mean, like, I fucked up real bad. If it's, if it's, if it's not for Alpha, we've done something extremely wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just, just making sure, because it's always funny going in the wrong fucking place. Okie dokie. Let me clear out some inventory. Let me repair my guns as hard as I can. Let me figure out why I'm carrying 120 pounds of random crap on me. Why am I carrying 120 pounds of random crap on me? There's some random grenades, good sir. There's six meat cleavers. I'm so hyped. Dude, I'm fucking ready. I'm ready. I want to do this shit. It's gaming o'clock. And then nobody shows up for four key swing. It's gonna be hilarious. I, I feel like we're... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I think we're at the point... If, if we're worried about it, I could switch over to the railway rifle build. That's just like... Giga Turbo I mean, it's, Murder. It's kind of, I mean, if there's nobody there, you can just go switch over, yeah, when we're there, right? Oh, that's true. There's more than I'm enough pretty, time. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure I can solo her. I'm confident the two of us can handle it. Okay. Yep. I'm in a public party. Hell yeah. Literally the only danger she presents for me is just that she never uh, lands. With a level 470 bloodied man. Oh, let's test your metal. I will. Okay, we'll test your metal warm up. I'm down with no, that. No, no, we, we don't have to, but if you want to, yeah. I do actually like test your metal. It is really cool. It's a I fun event. It's a cool one. On. We'll do this and then it'll be nuke o'clock. I can make sure my fingers work correctly. My hands are attached to my body, and then we'll go do. A, then I'll repair everything off and do a big nuclear silo. Because I'm hoping I'm running Gunsmith Five just baseline now. I I don't think I can fucking survive without it, man. It's the heavy weapons break so fast. It's crazy. Getting the break fifty percent thing is nice, and then like you got your repair kits, and if you do the double repair, it's just hard to fit five ranks of a perk, and it's such a waste in my opinion. Yeah, it, it hurts for sure. I let's see, what am I? Let's science master. I dropped one of the sciences, and I dropped the fusion cores last twice as long. But the good news is science doesn't apply to heavy weapons, so that's fine. It doesn't apply to Gatling laser. I don't the believe it applies to any heavy weapons. It doesn't what say that, fuck? but it, it doesn't. Even well, then I'm should. running some straight up fucking nothing on here anyway. <laughs> Are you serious? I am pretty sure. I'm mad. Yep, non-heavy. Wow. All right. Well, welcome back, fucking power user and scrapper. I guess I should have gotten rid of all of the fucking sciences. It's really frustrating, honestly. Yeah. Okay. No, I never would have figured that out without being directly told because there's there's no logic there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think the perk specifies it, right? Yeah. I was I was going to look because you said that like it was on the perk or something, but I assume that's on uh, some website. Yeah, it's on the wiki. That's what Yeah, it's just energy so I... weapons. Well, I guess it's. I guess there's some logic, because if you go to like craft, if you go to a gunsmithing bench or a weapon workbench, what the fuck it's called, the categories are machine gun, pipe gun, energy weapon, heavy weapon. So like energy weapon is its own category, that is that, distinct but... from heavy weapon. Sure, but heavy weapon, like energy weapon, is also distinct from rifles, right? Like I'm not saying it's not stupid. It is, it, is, <laughs> it, is, it is stupid. But I'm saying I, I can, I guess, kind of see the logic. Oh, shit, I'm going to get my armor. Yeah, and I'm really frustrating. This makes no sense kind of way. Yeah, it's it's definitely fucking dumb. Because it doesn't say energy damage. It just say damage with energy weapons. Like, if it said energy damage, I'd feel like I had more... Really but, okay, bad. but here's the thing. It applies to melee. Everything is stupid. <laughs> like, I'm so with you, but it applies to grenades. No, I'm, to again, I'm, I'm not it, saying it, it isn't it also, stupid. I'm really fucking reaching to understand the logic. It, it applies to turrets in your camp. What the fuck? Yeah. All right, so there's, just, there's no logic here. Yeah, so it, okay, let me say it applies to the auto axe of electrified. I don't know if it applies to my level fire. All turn. stupid and bad. We turn Larkin up a little bit. There we go. It's kind of quiet, which is something I never thought was going to happen. Can't imagine I'm turning. Can't believe I'm turning Larkin up. 
we used to be a society. We used to be a real country. So with the cremator, um, if you barely like wing them with splash damage, they take no fucking dot, right? I'm not crazy. Uh, they should get dotted if you splash damage. But if they get splashed, for, if the, the, the fireball hits for like 600 and they get splashed for six. So they take like 1% of the damage of the direct hit. Do they take like 1% of the dot? Because it's no, sure. I, the, I thought they take the full dot. Really? Because it does not feel like it. What tank are you using? Napalm? Uh, I'm using the one. Let me see. I don't know if I'd be able to tell what the name is by looking at it. Is slow burning what you're looking for? Uh, you, the one that makes it do like 3,000 damage. The, yeah, 2,000 oh, oh, damage okay. over 12 seconds, I, I, yeah. I think slow burn is it, yeah. Yeah, I am using a slow burner, yeah. I mean, it's the super huge dot. Yeah. Yeah, slow burning is the one. I get it mixed up because the flamer has an a tank. And the same thing, different things. Because they seem like they take the percentage of the dot, like, relative to the amount of splash damage they take most of the time. That it, like, if that's how it is, that is surprisingly complex for a game that's otherwise brain dead. Yeah, it surprised me, but just, like, if I wing people, they take, like, no damage at all. Like, even over the 12 seconds, like, uh, to the point where I wasn't even sure the dot was... Oh, yeah, we got that mode a bunch of times. I wasn't even sure the dot was working if I hit him directly. But I think it is, it's just really tiny. Oh my god, the spinning with the SMGZ mode is amazing. What this guy's doing, that's so sick. Oh, what the fuck? I want it. <laughs> that is pretty funny. What other looks with other weapons, it. or is it just the SMGs are part of the emote? I assume SMGs are part of the emote. Yeah, I had that thought right after I got excited. I bring me the robots. Also, I haven't looked. This map's not already nuked there, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I realized yeah, it was in you can you can double nuke it as well. Is this spawn another scorch screen? Rounds, I'm pretty sure. Here. Really? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty That's sure. fucking hilarious. I mean that seems like a thing that would happen in a Bethesda game. Where enemies? There's one assault run. Hello? Robots? Send the big man. Keep having to leave and come back and we'll keep forgetting shit at base. I can't oh. believe that new survival camp that has the fucking scrap box and the ammo box in it. Or survival camp, I mean. Who wondered? You do get a lot of caps for this one. Alright, here's some more weird garbage. I grab all this fuel and these caps because I'm probably just going to be cremating my way to the nuclear silo. Hell yeah. This fucking cremator is like crack, dude. It's so angry. It's, it's a truly disgusting weapon. It's so broken. Like that and the railway rifle are definitely like the two best in the game right now. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't feel like it's railway rifle broken, but it's not that far. <laughs> railway rifle is like an entirely unique tier. That's like release Guan Yu shit like that. That's how the hell did it get added to the game in this state, Broken? It also depends on what you're doing. Like, Cremator's definitely better than Railway Rifle and Daily Ops because they have no dot resistance. Oh, no, for sure. I did realize this straight up one-shots everything in Daily Ops. Yep, same with the, a lot of events. This is like the Daily Ops Skipper 10,000. Yep, the Alien Vent was the same way. <clears throat> That's crazy. So dot resistance is like a stat? There's people that are, or is yeah, it, or is it fires, fire specifically? Nah, it, for some reason, it's, yeah, Dot resistance is its own set of stats, and some enemies just don't have it. Ah, huh. that's weird. 
very much. So, so with the Secret Service armor, is there any reason to ever keep like other armor? Uh, the Secret really. Service is just kind of better than everything else. Secret Service is directly better than every armor in the okay, game. That's kind of what I was. There, there are two thinking. arguable side grades, but they're both worse. I'm not. I'm never going to be keeping like this bot smith or Arctic Marine or anything like that. Like, that's, nope. Unless I get an unyielding and I just want to keep it for the he who bloody build. And even then, you can just roll a secret service. Yeah, but then I got to roll a secret service. That's like forty. It's one millions. module a piece. Oh, wait! It's one module to roll it's armor. One, it's one module to create them, and it's a high enough chance that mathematically it's better to just remake the piece every time instead of re-rolling them. They don't always come as three star though, right? I got when I made the pieces, they were like one, two, and three stars. It is very likely, and the one star is the only one that really matters. Oh, I guess that's true. If you're literally just fishing for unyielding, huh? Unyielding or overeaters or whatever. The two and three star bonuses on armor are pretty, pretty bad. Huh. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let me put my gravity build on real quick. Make sure I top my little guns off here. Yay. And then we're, I'm going to go fucking gamer and we're going to hope these codes work. Don't listen to chat, brother. The recon armor is worse. Okay. I mean, I've streamed for like 15 years, so I'm pretty don't listen to chat already. Like, I don't have to be told that. It, That's so <laughs> it's, the side grade is Brotherhood Recon has better ballistic resistance, but significantly worse radiation and energy resistance. It's just not really worth it. Okay, and then, be... then there's the civil engineer armor that has a set bonus okay. that's decent, but it's also bad set bonuses oh getting Not fancy all right, all right there are a few sets of set bonuses fully repaired good. this thing fully repaired this thing might for the silos as long as i remember it being it might be smart to do a daily up first just so i can get a bajillion fuel because i have like 800 but i remember the silo being quite long <laughs> Enjoy. So you just you poop fuel over the floor? I don't. I don't want to do daily up. Oh, yeah. I want to do this. Fucking just, uh, nuke. I don't want to do daily up. I want to shoot a fucking nuke. All right, let's go. I, I know if we do a daily up, we're gonna then do like let's do an event. Let's do this. Let's do that. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Yeah, the it feels okay. so easy to make. Like that's it's, that's it's fair. Nothing. Well, I will take your donation. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. Then off we go to Silo Alpha. I want to shoot a nuclear bomb. I love the secret this, services. What's up? I was just saying, I love this entire like side objective in this quest to go figure out how the decryption works. That maybe I'm just stupid and didn't pick up what they were putting down. But this is entire side thing to go to Mama Dolce's and break into the Chinese spy base and find the computer where they're hiding behind the secondary passcode with the information I know about the decryption, and it just tells you it's encrypted. And like doesn't mention the kind of cipher that is or how the keyword works or anything. So by the time so, I got to like Canthropies, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. And that was the one part Chad just had to tell me like how that kind of cipher works. Cause I yeah, didn't so know the, how the, that works. I, I don't think the Mama Dolce's is what's helping you decrypt. It's that you have to go there to trick the nuke silos <laughs> into letting you do it at all by getting to DEF CON worse. Wait, wasn't is that it? what it was? No, I went down there. The quest objective was to go learn. It was the same. It was this part of I Am Become Death. And it was after I'd already collected the codes and everything, and it gave me the option. It was an optional, like Nuke Fisher Type Prime, to go learn how the decryption works. And it was literally, like, it completed the objective when I was just reading a terminal about the Chinese having figured out that they were in, the code word was encrypted. I mean, it told me it was an anagram. It didn't tell me shit about the actual cipher. It just told me it was an anagram. And that shit was useless. I do, now that you mention it, vaguely remember having to do that, but I, I never did that during the quest. I never had to go open that up to increase the DEFCON. Hmm. I don't know then. I wonder if I've, like, I've, I've never really known what cipher you're supposed to use or anything. I don't know, you just guess <laughs> until somebody figured it out. Guess, idiot. Well, the way it works is, uh, I don't know what the name of the cipher is, but you get the word like lycanthropies, like right? And then, let me pull my notepad. If you can see but on my stream, you get lycanthropies. And then the cipher that you get is you put officer. that word in front of the alphabet and then the rest of the alphabet, minus all of the letters that are in lycanthropies. 
I don't know what would happen if there were double letters. I assume you would just skip them. And then that to the actual alphabet is the cipher. So like the letters I have B, E, H, K, N, O, Q, Y are what were on the actual silo code pieces. B is N because in my cipher up here, B aligns with N in the actual alphabet and so on and so forth. But I didn't fucking, I didn't know how that kind of a fucking cipher worked. I've never seen, I, I feel like I had probably seen that before because I think we've done this once, but not, it never told me about that, which I mean, the point of a cipher is to you know, be encoded, but the point of the cipher in the video game is to be solved. So maybe tell me what kind of a fucking cipher it is. <laughs> maybe the Enclave bunker says it somewhere on like a terminal? I don't know. Maybe. I, I got nothing, honestly. Oh, but yeah, the Secret Service armor, though, once you have it upgraded, is like one of the three pieces that lets you not wear a hazmat suit. Oh, it has the just like bullshit resistor? Yeah, so that's 300 resistance. What well, rads are 300 resistance, and rad shield is 300 resistance. So between those, you're almost as good as a hazmat suit. I'm on the quest to discover rad shield right now. Oh, are you? Yeah. I thought you already had rad shield. No, that's a that's an optional. I'm definitely on it. Oh, it's like a little side objective. It's part of the free states thing, right? But you don't actually have to go all the way through it. Welcome, Squidling. Uh, yeah, it's part of the free states thing, yeah. Toot. Okay, toot. Toots and hoots, 507. 42 months in the pool. You were the shiniest, Squidling. Thank you for the continued support. The three and a half years. It's really funny when the Giga Slow Burner just one shot stuff with a regular tap. Okay, I'm gonna hire you to kill turrets because the cremator doesn't like interacting <laughs> with them. <laughs> I, have, I have discovered that. What is this? Old biometrics ID card. I don't know if I need that, but I'm gonna take it because it sounds like it might be important. Lead. Oh, yeah, welcome to the best lead farms in the fucking game. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. Surely I don't need multiple of these things, do I? Should I be picking up all the old biometric ID cards? I nah, just one. Okay, I, I did vaguely remember part one. It's it's slow. It's starting to kind of tickle the neurons in the back oh. of my brain. Oh, well, yeah, you had to find... Was it one for everyone or just one period? Uh, I, I think it's just one period, actually. And then we put that... Commencing attack. Was it directly in this gate, or did it go somewhere else? Uh... Fabricating replacement security. If I any fucking keep spawning ads the whole time, is it in here? <laughs> nope, that's the way you hack it. It's the bypass. I'm I... noisy. Where is the bucket? Okay, I want to go back in there. Maybe I need to find a terminal back in here. I'm looking. Oh, but like to explain the Brotherhood Recon issue, it, it's that it surpasses Love. diminishing returns by default so there's no value in upgrading it whereas with secret service armor you can upgrade it to make it as Fucking good as another Crofian. armor without diminishing returns <laughs> Give it five bucks, and then also Link. still have better energy and rad resistance oh, i see it's also okay. easier to get because the, the brotherhood pieces are <laughs> one plan per limb all from daily ops so like it's a nightmare i only just got my last piece like two weeks ago Am I soft locked? Oh no, just an incredibly long loading time on my computer. Okay. Maybe that was just lag? Man, drop me frames. Let me see. Security station alpha. This is just their job description. That's not helpful. Okay, this doesn't <laughs> open the gate. Oh, hold on. ID card registration system. Activate. Present ID care card and print with your biometric data. Okay, we're on the right path. We're on the, yeah. we're on the road. Okay. So I have an old biometric ID card. I need to do something with it. Hold this. Mm, this is just a room that makes robots. I love you, Creamator. It's so bullshit. It's pretty fucking stupid. Okay, what the fuck do I do with this? I'm looking for station to do something, something biometric data. 
something something personalized okay this looks promising okay oh my god i am tripping balls okay does that does your game go nuts when you look over here uh not it, it isn't right now but that does happen sometimes holy oh. shit okay what a biometric scanner that seems promising Are using this shit is this really not? Oh, it's not this. Okay, nothing in here. I mean, wait, is it this thing? Ah, oh, how do we? No, You're in oh, power I'm in power armor. 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 Okay. Maybe it'll. No, it it did give me the error eventually. Okay. Good. I really, really wish they would remove all of the "you can't do this here in power armor" shit, even if it breaks the animations. I don't want to have to get in and out, and also, given how buggy power armor is, like, fuck you. Okay, I'm gonna assume that did what it was supposed to do. There wasn't like an animation or anything. I just got in it, stood there for like one second, and then got out. Um, which is it, 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 like all the stuff hooked onto you. Oh, right? biometric data added. No, I just don't think I played the animation. Oh, oh yeah, like all the little. It's supposed to look like the one when you get inoculated, like all the little things was just wrap around your arms and inject you and stuff. I guess yeah, it bugged out. I, I think the animation bugged out. Okay, biometric Magic. data added. Is there another step now, or can I just use this? Because I feel like it's not linked to the card Additional yet. Security required. Oh, what's this? Biometric system terminal. Ha ha! This seems promising. Unidentified Fabricate biometric ID. Beginning search. Blank biometric ID card not found. That's not what I have. Oh, I have to put it in the slot first. There's a the slot on the side of the fucking computer right here. Okay. Ah, I have to... Okay, now it's wiped. Okay, now... Blank biometric ID card. Fabricate ID. Perfect. Okay, good. All right, back to the security station. You also probably have a side quest called, like, Mission Countdown Alpha or whatever that's not active that you might want to turn active. Because that should pop some quest markers up. That I don't know if it will for this, a little but... bit easier. Mission Countdown Alpha. Yep, that is in fact... Yep, I had to find a way to make your biometric ID card, register your biometric ID card. Yep. There we go. It's also... Oh, yeah, it there's markers too. Spawn. Oh, perfect. Okay. Hostile. Oh, shit, I gotta reload. I love the little piss baby guns the Colonel Gussie shoot. These are supposed to be like the military droids and it, they, they shoot like fucking BB guns. They, well, they have like the the railway shot thingy sounds that have armor piercing and like the, the, the big gutsies and they do so much damage. But then the little ones kind of just do nothing a lot of the time. Okay. Registration complete. Head for the control room. All right, good. Dude, I've been playing Starfield and there's the mag weapons in that that are like shotgun assault rifles and man, I miss using them right now. Oh yeah. They're, they're so broken. Okay. Oh man, I can't go through because I don't have okay. a key card. I did. Okay, we do both have to do it. I did remember. Interesting. I did remember it right. I, I was thinking no... like that I, I wouldn't have to do it because you would get to get it open by sliding your card, but it doesn't actually open. No, the let case. me see. There's the not a thing through. on the other side to open it, is there? I do that like hit my brain. Wait, we both have to do this. And that's why that's why there's f up to four biometric ID cards you can find is because everybody needs one. Because I remember that being a very long and annoying part of the process having to find four of those fucking cards. Yeah, but there you go. Oh, and I have a jump scare. <laughs> Jesus. And the control room. Okay. Oh no, an iBot. I think I see an Assaultron through that door. There's two like flaming swords sticking here, and I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> I ain't worried about no Assaultron. Although these guys do a kind of surprising amount of damage, actually. I guess this is super endgame. Yeah, it certainly is the original endgame, right? This this was like the closest yeah, this is... thing to like a raid it had. <laughs> yeah, it was the silos, the silos and Swordsby Squain herself. <laughs> Fuck you, turds. Okay, uh, powerhouse. Here. Excuse me, sir, can you hold this? Well, I guess, you know, sometimes the AoE is in fact just killing them. Oh yeah, there's an assault run. Security lockdown initiated. Bulkhead doors have sealed to limit contamination. Engineering team, proceed That's to probably bad. the reactor control station to initiate repairs. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh fucking! Oh, hello, assault run. Oh, 
I'll handle the bitch if you get this ceiling cannon. Yep, I am run. God, there's so many of them. Oh, you got one. Look I at got, you. I got one. It's very finicky. I can hit them. If I do it super point blank, it kind of works. If I, like, put the cremator up against it and then shoot. My god, there's so many turrets. There are a lot of fucking turrets. Fuck off, Assaultron. In the distance, explosions. Okay. I love that you just left because it was in a hallway. <laughs> yeah, this is so why I don't need to fuck with this. Oh, do we need to fix everything? This looks fixable. Oh, that looks like the shit we fixed in the power plants. Maybe, maybe I have to use the terminal first. You <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Stop I like it! Wait. Like, it, it wasn't spawned until we were right there. Okay. Asshole. And we are just getting locked down. Okay, power system repair instructions. Do you reactor breach? Automated security lockdown will slow the power house facility, limit radioactive contamination. Do the high pressure present in a class 8 reactor. Reactor systems be shut down for a person we attempt. Okay, turn it off first. Okay. Which you also do from here, fortunately. Turn it off. Oh, timer. It was a timer. Okay, fix it. Not a the reactor area. Hey, this could be a pain in the ass if it was, if it was a solo. <laughs> He's already put himself in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go. Oh, there's a ceiling pipe. Yeah, there's few enough. I'm starting at objective markers for him now. Yeah. Uh... That's it? Oh, restart the reactor. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Less than a minute. Easy. We're the best. Restart reactors. System restart. Restart successful. Reactor system integrity restored. Terminating okay. security lockdown. Head Opening to the control room. Please stand clear of the doors. All right. So far, so good. I like being power armor, brothers. Yeah, we're just the, the big fellas now. I think I'll just do a little fuel scooping while there's nothing going on. Good idea. Like, I'm probably fine, but yeah, the more I loot, the less I go. That's not the way. <clears throat> That's also not the way. I should have, the, the hint should have been the fact that you were running out of there. That <laughs> should have been the indicator that was not the way to go. It's not going to be back here, because I can see the objective marker. Like, it's on that side. I just don't know how to get there. <laughs> you sprinting by so fast. Is that the right objective marker? No, it's that other way this way I think no no I was right no I was right it's this way I have two objective markers because one is the objective and one is leave oh and it's really hard to because it's the other Damn, every other that. objective Turn out the other quests you know what that's pretty smart that's pretty smart buddy nice I'll try what if my only... It is this one, okay. What if my only quest marker was the quest I'm trying to fucking do? Unauthorized personnel Why? <laughs> There's so Activate many of them, dude. Mainframe security protocol. Omega oh, this is just a fight, right? Omega this is just survive. The mainframe and secure the area. Uh, mainframe maybe. Wait, can I pick that up? I'm trying to see what the fuck it was. It's like one of those hallucinogen containers, right? Destroy or halogen or destroy the mainframe. How? I hear a turret. Do I do that? I hear another turret. Okay, the objective is way back there. The objective is on the other side of the fence. Am 
I stupid? A little bit. It's, it's not, a bit of a it, two perception moment. Is it like, is it just this big pile of computers like right here? Because like, it's not, that's what not the mother marker is. There are a lot of curiously red flashing lights on all these panels. <laughs> Does that do anything? The life bar is going down as they break. Oh, you have to hit specifically the blinking parts. Oh, okay. I see. That sounds like a job for this thing. Oh no, you just have to, oh, the splash, I see, the splash damage just doesn't work. You can interact with it, or, like interact with them to rip them out manually as well. <laughs> I didn't know you could break them that bad. What, you just break off everything? I, I, I thought you could only rip out the red bits. I didn't realize you could break out like everything. Additional security. Oh, the door's out, no. by the way. Oh. You've been shooting for <laughs> so long with it wide open. Oh, it's not making progress anymore. Okay, fair enough. Hey, you can't shoot the window. That's bullshit. Hey, you can't shoot at all. That's bullshit. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. There's so many turrets. I can't reach that turret. It's so far away. Well, that's not the way we're going. Just kidding. Different path. How about this way? Oh, that leads in. Hey, you! Are you so lucky you floated slightly to the side? I love having the auto axe and chainsaw here. It just feels right. Yay! I fucking cannot hit that turret with the. Oh my god, there's so many! Please. There's still another one. Please! I think we're. I think we're good. No, there's more! <laughs> this room is ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, back to fucking breaking everything. It does feel very smart to destroy the entire main from a nuclear silo. Like, surely that won't bite us in the ass, right? A nuclear silo that we are actively trying to commandeer. I'm sure it's fine. I just love that you can break the shit out of absolutely everything. What's left, Tom? Well, I guess it makes sense, like, the spots that you can break are the places where more of the black panels could spawn. Oh, we did it! Alright. Congration, we fucking broke everything. We done it! We We're are winner. successfully a nuisance. Yes! My favorite thing to be. I thought your favorite thing to be was gay. Hmm. That is a... Hmm. See, now you got a dilemma, now you got to pick. Is it gay or nuisance? What's up, Mason? Am How I you doing? gayer or am I more annoying? I think I'm more annoying than I am gay. Hmm. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah. See, I would I would lean to gay from an outsider's perspective. but I, 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 I want to say I talk about mommies destroying me too much historically, yeah, but I, mean, like... I talk about it in a very gay way, so like... <laughs> Why not gay nuisance? Well, like, you like have to nuisance. pick a primary feature. You, you can have, like, secondary stats, but, like, you need a main build, right? You yeah, motherfucking yeah, piece of something. anus. Ah, that's my real main is a turret killer. That's, yeah. Please, God. <laughs> Make them stop. <laughs> All right, how are my weapons doing? Because they did give us a weapon workbench. Not even a little bit damaged. All right, fantastic. I guess we have not yeah. been here that long. You're making good time. It'd be really funny I, if it killed whoever was in there. I'm pretty sure it did, because didn't you hear it break? I, I heard did the metallic you, I, I heard breaking. the... Oh, fuck me! Oh, he's dead. You almost killed him before I even turned the corner. God, that dot is so stupid. I did see him lose a very surprising amount of health. Fucking turrets! I can't see shit through the smoke cloud! Doesn't matter, got him anyway. <laughs> the cremator is the cremator, don't care. Go away, turrets. Holy shit. 
through the dirt and fucking drive me insane. <laughs> Wait, did we win? Are we? Is it over? Are we safe? Please, okay. dear God. No. No. There's one over there. How is there always another one, man? Doors I'm trying to kill you, you know. Hello, launch commander. I I, I hear him. Well, yeah, I was like, I don't. I hear him. I see a little gutsy. He's half dead and missing two legs. He's now entirely dead and missing all his legs. <laughs> Where? I hear it. Is it above us? I. It might be actually. I think, is there? There must be another floor Welcome, here. Squidling. Could be. Yeah. There's the a room right here named storage room manager, so that one must be somewhere else. One hundred and eighteen okay, months. Three of cakes. One hundred and eighteen months. My money will continue. You with the shiniest squidling. The top tier stream well, I don't know how much longer that's gonna three. be, but I appreciate it while I'm here. This job is going to start sooner or later whenever, you know, the government does government things. We'll, we'll see how long that ends up being, but how 118 months is a fucking lot, my friend. You were the shiniest squidling. Fuck. Okay. Oh, there's Duct tape. computers. Aha. Facilities Never mainframe. Never used a computer in my life. In the storage area. Ah. It doesn't have a CPU. How am I supposed to play old school RuneScape? <laughs> the deepest concern imaginable. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the most immediate important thing. Find mainframe cores inside objective areas. So I guess they're like literally an object I'm looking for. The problem is, I don't know what they. I feel like they should be these. Oh, they are. They're just extremely fucking finicky. Okay. So that other one's probably pick up a bull too. Wow, they are really finicky about being picked up. Is this not? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> they made damn sure you weren't just gonna accidentally grab them by running along mashing the A button. There is a singular Hello. pixel that has to be highlighted for them to be grabbable. Nice and hidden, too. Are well, they? Because all the ones I've found are. Oh, that one's a little hidden. All the ones previously were just straight up on shelves. I think it's because yeah. I'm taking the ones that aren't hidden. Then you have to actually look. <laughs> I'm just like, I do love for me, that's for me, that's for me. <laughs> Walking past half of them. So much death. I love you, Cremator. You're a silly guy. It does kind of feel like game Skippium, but you know... <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, you're it's playing an MMO, level. baby, not a Fallout game. Game skipping them is the point. Right? Yeah, well, also, it's like endgame, so, like, we're supposed to have endgame powers. We're supposed to be. This is the point where, like, this is now just a build working. Yeah. At, at low level, it's it's in-game skipium. At high level, it's uh, efficient. But it's MMO, right? In-game skipium is what you do at low level. I guess that's Gotta true. rush the leveling. Gotta skip as much content uh, as honestly, fast as possible like... so I can complain the game has no content. <laughs> My brain is gigantic. Look. I love gamers. Surprise oh, uh oh, bombies here. Fabricating. Mommy fell apart. Personnel. No, not mommy. No. Are we, are we supposed to be taking these somewhere? Oh, uh, yeah, I would be sticking them in the thing right here, where, where all the damage cores were. Oh, in the machine that we broke earlier. Uh-huh. You have to rip all the all damage cores out manually, activity. which I have them in my inventory. Requesting security response. What am I? There's no way I'm out. So much treasury notes. Is this just, like, crazy laggy? Yes, it takes forever. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm out. Now I would believe that I'm out. Rhea Cakes! It's raining hats. Brother! Hallelujah. Not just coming in with a big hats. ass fat fucking sub Hallelujah. of his own, but five Even more of them. Just Even fucking because. Narb waffles, OMG, or ripping Zeus, defective cacti, and it's cow fights. Hats. Enjoy your hats, everybody. You with the shiniest squidlings. This man's got extra. 135 channel dunks. What a fucking lifeguard. 
Even if you only stream a day or two of the week, want to watch and give fun. I'm hoping to at least be able to keep that going. It's raining hats. Thank you for the support. Hallelujah. It's raining hats. Thanks for the dunk. We're definitely going to do at least the Pathfinder stuff. I'm not giving up on the Pathfinder stuff, like 100% for sure. Okay, oh, well, we need two more? I got them both. Oh, okay. I didn't realize until now you can slightly see the game behind you when you're on that screen, like on the sides, and I saw Don't myself run by. Unit. Oh, yeah. Well, because it used to be green screen. It was just you could see the yeah. whole game. But now, since it's not green screen, it's just kind of my camera Welcome blown up in the middle of everything. Oh. 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 Do you know this fucking Cloud 75 JC guy invented his own tier on coffee? He's a mad lad. That's what the voice of God sounds like, in case you were curious. Your own, uh, your own coffee welcome kind of synergizes really well with this scene. Even though by ending up here in, you know, the realm of the people that are extremely fucking dead because they tried to go to space with absolutely no preparation or equipment, I guess it's appropriate that the voice of God is the thing that you've run into, but... That's six years is what it is. That's six years in the pool. And that line is correct. This man's a crazy bastard. He, he made up his own level of coffee support. It's not even one of the clickable options. He had to do that shit fully custom. 72 months, Cloud. You were the shiniest squid link. Okay, I'm here. Oh, you, wow. said, you said you have the last two? Yeah, yeah, they're both in. You just have to you have to interact with the computer. I see 14 out of 15. Oh, there is one left over. There was actually three missing. Oh, all right. Well, we're looking for one more then. Oh, found one. Oh, easy. You can also totally take the damaged ones with the tinker bench and just build fresh ones. Yeah, that's actually a side objective. But uh, you have to get out of your power armor to do it, so I'd rather not. That sounds moderately annoying. That's, that's enough more to fun stop doing me it this doing way. it. Yeah, I kind of like the little scavenger hunt. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Just you can use computers in your power armor. You can tackle my fuck. giant mecha hands. I feel like in Fallout 4 you can't. Maybe it's certain computers. Door open. Nice. Security incident resolved. Control room. Control room. Boop, boop, boop. Secu oh, launch silo. That one didn't even start shooting. That one just, I just looked at it and was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's just hanging out. I don't want to die. Bad for that one. This room... This room is fucking Call of Duty campaign trauma. This shit right here. <laughs> you know exactly what fucking room I'm talking about or not? Like, uh, no, I'm, I just, I'm more remembering because Ascension reuses that area of the campaign. This, uh, so I think I want to say it was Modern Warfare 3. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Modern Warfare I 3, I remembered very little story-wise from the campaign. But I remember like at the very end of the campaign, for some reason, every single enemy just started becoming Terminators. Like they just basically had power armor. And, uh... I don't know why. They just had a shit ton of health and it's Call of Duty on veterans, so they glance at you and you explode. And like the very was... end, actually I think it was two. It was no fighting in the war room. I don't think it was three, it was two. Might even have been one actually. Well, the Modern Warfare first. It, it, so, it definitely wasn't two. I don't think you ever find a nuke silo in two. The, the end of two is One in of the, the last things you have to do is run through two of these. And it's exactly like this. You come in on one side and you come around and the dude's just standing in the doorway and he fucking frame ones you. So like, you just have to come around the corner, fucking pre-firing, and just hope it works out. <laughs> like, sounds awful. That and it's yeah, and on vet obviously everything fucking kills you in one quarter of a second. So that yeah. shit drove me insane. God, difficulties are awful. I used to be so fucking big into that shit. <gasps> I am. Um, I, I I played so much COD, but sorry grinding was I kind of want to get Black Ops 6 honestly if the zombies is any good I'm not going to pay for it because it's too expensive but it's tempting honestly I really liked a lot of grinding these story stuff and the old CODs because it was like you were it felt as like speed running light you had to get you had to find the fucking line you had to get the perfect run especially like Mile High Club in Mod 1 could do that shit 65 fucking times in a row until you like <laughs> knew every single enemy spawn and every step of that shit by heart. Cause it's not about not getting hit. It's about doing it in fucking 40 seconds or whatever. I feel like, that. Exactly me, how much like... of this shit can I run past before I am punished for my sins? 
Especially as a teenager, it's just hard to do anything other than zombies in multiplayer. I mean, I sure ain't saying I didn't like zombies. Zombies is pretty fucking good. I played so much zombies. Played a good amount of zombies. I didn't get nearly as into zombies as a lot of people did, but I played a lot of zombies. Launch control terminal. Wow, that's a lot of buttons. Okay, launch prep overview. Launch traps the automated procedure required to test arm primary missile for launch. Once launch traps have been initiated, the control rooms, robot fabricators, and some of the launch crew chiefs who proceed to their designated stations. One launch crew chief must be operational. The launch authorization system will be unlocked. Following a successful launch, automated missile reconstruction begins immediately. Prerequisites. DEFCON 1 must be declared. A missile must be assembled and staged. Launch trap must be completed. And then we have to do authorization. Okay, so right, this is this is the waves. This is the where we fight just the defense. Correct. I didn't remember that happening. Okay. Yeah, it used to be buggy as shit, and half the time you'd have to redo the whole silo because the, the people wouldn't come out. Launch crew chiefs are specialized protector rounds, encryption keys. Each crew chief stops transfer well done programming last launch trap as long as there's one. Chief's destroyed. You can reassemble in a placement in the event of a security incident. All security chiefs all security chiefs have been programmed to restore crew chiefs upon launch prep. Initiate launch prep. Launch prep. Hell yeah. Initiated. No joke, the first one of these I ever did bug out here and I had to redo the whole thing. It was infuriating. That does sound like ass. Right, where are the guys we have to protect? This is the one coming out up here. A little butt plug bot. Oh, he looks so stupid! Uh, yeah, I don't know why they were like, let's make the dumbest automatron bots ever, but I'm glad they did. He's got some Portal 2 energy. He is a silly little guy. Oh, he got shot. Yeah, so the... On, bud. These fuckers just straight up ignore us. Makes me want to Mr. Handy with police batons for arms. <laughs> that was the funniest bot Stop today. resisting! Yeah, literally, it's not like if Mr. Handy had a thruster and, and two police batons and nothing else. And just let him float around a little ball with sticks. Oh, we got to protect our little idiot. There's a, a sick mod for Fallout 4 that lets you combine, like, ghoul parts and deathclaw parts and stuff with your automatrons. <laughs> Just make terrifying body horror monstrosities, and I love it. I hate it. Too bad it's kind of impossible to play an evil character in Fallout 4. Ugh. But you gotta be the good guy. You're the protagonist. Why is the failsafe protocol waves of robots instead of deactivating the control chief? <laughs> Shut up! America! <laughs> oh, we have more fellas. Hello, propulsion officer and other one whose name I didn't hear. Telemetry. Telemetry. I'll go protect yeah. telemetry. Oh, he's I love me big way words. back here. Reading from the bathroom. I'll show you, Mr. Turret. I got it. What's up, Peter Carl? How you doing? Happy Friday. Protect the baby. He is a dumb idiot. Keep him safe. <laughs> where Where is he going? I don't know where he's trying to go. Huge fan of the fact that this guy can barely fucking walk. Like right. <laughs> I genuinely wonder blowing their legs off would make them faster. Is it a crawling animation? Yeah, like I don't know, but I, I feel like it, it probably would be. Where's the other guy? Back here? Yeah, he's, is he stuck maybe? He's fucking stuck. He's licking a window, dude. What are we, what are we doing? Oh no, he's stupid. <laughs> I can want oh. to kill him, but I can't. Oh no, he's an idiot. Maybe one of the other bots will murder his ass. Give us that lovely reset. New robots. Uh oh, that guy's falling into a turret. Oh, dude, he barely even got hit. Nice. I think the other bot is getting killed. It sounds like it, so that's nice. Hello, guidance. I love our cute little bot army. Oh. 
gonna protect our dingoids. He is. Oh, he got knocked on the ground. Oh, he got knocked on the ground, and now he's making it. He's been freed from his prison. Yes, he's dragging himself. It's actually not that slow either. Uh, is it actually faster to just let the I don't think it's faster, but I don't know if it's any different. Dude, he's trying so hard. This is almost sad to watch. <laughs> oh. oh, he's Dude, like, he, I so must desperate. steal my job. Oh. Must launch nuclear warhead. He's not on fire anymore. He has one purpose. What a good lad. Violence. Come on, baby boy. Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> I do feel like we're barely defending them. <laughs> it's like yeah, there's not very many enemies. Hardly spawning. any enemies spawning. I hear a Robo Brain. Oh, it's right here. I just spawn camped the shit out of this Robo Brain. I did the same thing to an Assault Rod just now. <laughs> Perfect. As long as we keep patrolling and getting them as they come out of their little fucking test tubes, then and they're not gonna threaten our boys. How's Crawley going doing? Nothing better than sniping them as they come out. That sounded sexual, but it was more meant to sound like a threat. <laughs> Dude. Where's that gutsy? Right here. Is he back He's here? He's really taking his time. Do you think he gets there before the I thing don't know. finishes? No, leave him alone! Don't touch my son! He's fucking he, trying, he has to man. get where I'm at. He's, I I don't think he makes he's it. He's fucking trying. He's going so hard. He I ain't got it no the legs. Until he made it. Come on, baby. Wish we could kill all the rest of them and just let him do it. No, I fucking finished. No, he didn't make it. He's still going though. He's determined. He's committed. Must to destroy humanity. Okay. Insert nuclear key card here. Key card accepted. Nice. Okay, so. My notepad says. I'm going to put it on my other monitor so I can see it while I put it in just because it's an eight digit code. Okay, we'll start bluings. Two, four, Six, three, five, four, two, eight. Access blowings. Granted. It was blowings. Yo! Very it, nice. It was blowings. Good job. World's first legit nuke. <laughs> Hashed areas on the nuked target map are protected zones. You cannot nuke Vault 76. Please stop. It makes me sad because unless they reduce the size, it also means you can't have a world boss in that area, right? At least not a nuke one. That's true. Okay, and then. Oh, let me. Can I back out of this? I'm gonna reactivate the quest just to be safe. Smart. Good idea, Carno. Okay, and I'm gonna drop it directly on Fissure Site Prime. I don't think it has to be directly on it. I think it just has I, to be. I, 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 I doubt problem. it. But... I'm willing to do the science. So what is the part? We want drop site V9 to not be in the circle? Uh, is that where we, we fight? Want... We fight, yes, correct. So like that kind of thing. I have all the little areas around it, but not drop yeah. site V9. I mean, the biggest gap you can give is the best. We have a lot of space to fight her, but however you want to do it. As long as Fissure Site Prime is in the circle, it still counts? For spawning Scorch Beast Queen. I don't care yeah. as much for the optional. Yes. Okay. Yeah, should, yeah. We'll, we'll learn if this works for the optional. I'm willing to do the science for for the greater yeah. good. But uh, If for some reason it doesn't spawn the queen, I will go run it. As long as we alone. get a queen. Okay. Confirm. Attention. Attention. Yes! We fucking got him, boys. 
It's time for a nuclear end. I kind of go catch the nuke. Quest completed. I am become death. <laughs> we did it. We've repeated the tragedies of the past. Yes! We just launched another fucking nuke. <laughs> We're just as ideologically consistent and developed as the Brotherhood of Steel is. Hell yeah, really brother. saying a lot. <laughs> Don't you love coming out of a pooper? Yeah, that's loud as oh, shit. Oh, there, there it goes! There it goes! <laughs> I've always meant to stand on it to see if it kills you if you stand on it as it opens. Oh, I didn't know you could see it come up. That's awesome. We got a I'm good. Go catch it. I want to. I want to watch. I want to see if I. I'm surely I can see it from here, right? Probably, yeah. As long as you're looking in the right direction. Southeast. Should be. I don't know if it's necessarily exactly the direction it flew off, but it's definitely like somewhere over there. Oh, there's no way I'm catching this in time. Two All load right. screens. I complete this quest via someone on my team completing it, Sag. I may have just done that for someone else, and if I did to them, I apologize. It, does that does that come huh? I'm surprised it counts without you being in the bunker, honestly. We did it, chat. We solved, well, the, we solved the cipher. We unscrambled the code. We did all of the code breaking ourselves. Because I got I got bluings myself. I just, after I had three options, I put it in the anagram solver just to like double check if there was any I was missing. Nice. So I didn't sit there forever. But I got, it didn't give me anything I didn't already have. Bluings was the first one we got. There are so many Scorch Beasts here. <laughs> well, we're about to make it a lot less. Fuck yes! I don't want to pull up my pit boy. How long we have till it comes down? Uh, 35 seconds. Uh, I guess I can pull my pit boy. You'll probably start seeing it fall fairly soon. If if it's possible. I just want to see. Okay, it's a little more to the right. Oh, it's landing right in the water. Oh boy. Should be like over there. It should be like right that away. I'm looking. I don't know if I'll be able to see that. Oh, I can hear it. I don't think I'll see it come down. I think I'll just, from this distance, I think I'll just see the explosion. Here it is. Oh, God. Oh. 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 <laughs> there it is, baby. Nice. I'm a coming. Oh, I can be revived. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we have a touchdown. Nice catch. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Being asked to play magic. Let's take right. her to the place. Take her to the bunker. Come did on, did I do it right? Oh, yeah, she's out of the stuff. Fuck yes. Did he give me the optional, by the way? I don't know how to tell. Because, like, as soon as I fired it, the quest was completed. Ah. So I couldn't, like, see it anymore. Got it. I don't think I'll be able to tag out of fucking sky with a cremator. I'm trying, though. Hey, you want to just land or something? Be pretty cool. There we go. I love fancying. The fancying the cremator is so fucking. Cool. <laughs> Good God! He started his landing animation and then died, so he just headbutted the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's funny. Oh hell yeah, no, we, I super here. We got it in a good place. Please land. Better burn. My favorite part of Scorch Beast Queen is standing here doing nothing. Oh, that still works because I can plasma throw her. Yes. She's frozen just a little bit off the yeah. ground. It works. Mid air freeze, baby. Oh, whoever's spamming the freezes is a Chad. That man's a national fucking hero. Oh, I can actually chainsaw her. Get her little toes. Get her little toes. 
<laughs> this is so stupid. This might be the worst way to freeze her, but it's so funny. She's just slowly drifting, dude. Dude, fucking cryo is a masterpiece. It's so good, dude. Oh my god. I want to cry. I don't know if you can get. Is cryo like a legendary girl you can get, or is this only come for specific weapons? Uh, it's usually specific weapons. The cryo later in particular. Uh, the alien blaster also does it. It got nerfed, and people are really mad about it. For good reason. Oh, she's coming down. That, that, yeah, that's the landing animation, right? Come dude, on! <laughs> she's in fucking oh orbit, dude! <laughs> oh my god, somebody turned on the transponder. Oh, there we go! He stopped freezing her. Nice! EL7 is gold. EL7, oh, oh yes! Oh, the permafreeze! Give me that fucking face, baby! Oh yeah, there's a shock. Yeah, cold shoulder. There's a shotgun that does it too, yeah. It's sick as hell. Oh. This man is a hero. I don't know who he is. He's a... I don't know who this dude is, but he's a fucking legend. Yes. He is truly making America great yes. again. Oh my god. Oh. You fucking do it to her! Uh, I can't see, I can't see I anything can't through see the menu. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. The fucking bad man, dude. Oh no, the freeze ran out. It's okay, it's back. She's cold again. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, this is the most fucked I think I've ever seen a Scorch Beast get. See Holy shit, swinging. dude! Thanks for dying! Hell yeah, dude! Jesus, absolutely eradicated. <laughs> god. <laughs> Those Batman shots make me lag so bad. I love the horrible screams of the damned when it's fired. <laughs> Definitely my favorite part. <sighs> easy game, easy life. That was great. That was fucking absolutely just annihilated. It's hard to beat a fast queen. It just feels so nice. That was some that was some good shit. That was some good business. Well we did yeah, it, boys. We, we launched story the new. We, yeah, we did it. Now you just have a bunch more to do. Yeah, now I have all of the all the new shit that's been added, all the stuff from like the factions and the actual NPCs and characters and shit, but we have caught back up and we have refinished the main story. We have Canonically saved Appalachia. Yeah! From the scorched plague by eliminating the source and also discovering an inoculation <sighs> method. So now we have, we have lore wise, you've actually done all the steps that led to people actually being able to come back. It's kind of interesting that the new stuff is not like an extension of the main story and it's just shit that is also there, which like I kind of get why it has to be because this is an MMO, but it's, it's a well, little weird. You got to really kind of think of the main story as like legacy content. That well, doesn't no, really... it, you, but you have to inoculate to do the new stuff. That's true. You do have to inoculate. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, because you, you inoculate at the very beginning. Killing the queen isn't inoculating. It's just getting rid of the Scorched themselves. That is true. That is true. You can't even you start interacting. You did the quest too where you... Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, you did the quest where you went to like the bottling plant, right? To, to make the vaccines to share with, yeah? I'm pretty sure you did that. I'm not sure, actually. I think you did, because didn't you talk to Meg? Might be the next one you're on. I Either talked way. to Meg. I met Meg. I met Meg at the top of the world briefly. Got it. Yeah, it's, I know Wastelanders Part 2 is restricted it's until after inoculation. I know you have to be inoculated. That's definitely... The main quest doesn't diverge, because after that is when you get the quest to go meet the settlers and to go meet the raiders and... Uh do all that is after you inoculate yeah, yeah, then yourself you're, oh yeah because you talk to megan you tell her like okay like you need to get inoculated that was the conversation you was having you were having with yeah her. and she told me to fuck off yes exactly okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. yeah 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 so so you're yeah that you're working on that now and then duchess's stuff is the bit that's pre-inoculation because she literally like talks about the scorched being around 
That's true. That's actually fit the wayward part in to make sense in the early game because she's like, yeah, because she introduced, she's the new introduction to the plague, basically. Yes, exactly. Because she has the um, chase or whatever his name was upstairs that's uh, scorched. Yep. My main question is, is the Brotherhood or Rose Room doable without being inoculated yet? I'm not sure. Is the Rose Room new? Rose Room is very new. It's the newest huh. content. I thought that was... The, the building's been there forever, but the Rose Room itself is new. Okay. That makes that's, sense. That's, that is the storyline that goes to the Atlantic huh. City. Hey, I was finally the guy that handed out the caps. They gave him the your teammate has completed hey! a quest. It was me. I guess I'll share inspirational. Merry Christmas, everybody. Probably should have done that before, Ooh, but you know. Yes, <laughs> please. Should have that before we did an entire fucking silo. Yeah, I think literally the battle pass that we have right now is the, the one that released the last part of the Rose Room story and the final Atlantic City expedition. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So it's like yeah, new. You, usually the, the new main quests are usually in two parts, almost always. Okay. Well, we now make sense for me to do all this other stuff because we have killed the Scorch Beast Queen. Yes, it is definitely best to do it in that order, yeah. We're back to square one. Wait for just a minute, I'll be right back. There's a couple little fucking Chinese trash cans up here. Look, dude, if you die to a Chinese trash can, that's kinda on you. I help those who help themselves. Nameless scavenger. Although you did let him shoot out my dumpster and also the side of my building. <clears throat> I assume probably just happened via random visitors. Okay, before we go any further. It's too late, I already fucked up. Damn it. It's so automatic. It's so automatic to walk up to a wall workbench, do scrap all jump junk, and then walk up to uh my scrap box and drop everything in there i was gonna put the uh Finally, nice day. the wing fragment and the bones from the scorch beast queen we got from the main story quest in the display case but they're just junk so they got auto scrapped oh well it was a good thought we're in fact not going to immortalize our victory because they just got deleted Oh, we have caught back up to the main story, at least. So what are today's challenges? I want to do the nuke more. 30 seconds, Warsh Beast Queen. You know, they should really make a cure for this stuff. You know, we should do something about this. All right, we got... Pick a lock. Kill a Marler, kill a dog, do meat, cook, do a daily. Welcome back. Oh, a Scorch Beast approaches. Fun. Where dragon room? I have miner said. Came back to my base because I thought I looted a, the bones and the wing fragments and everything from the queen. I was like, I'm gonna put these in a display case because we finished the main quest and then realized mm -hmm. that scrap all junk, they're just junk. So they just got blended. Oh, that's tragic. You want me to go launch another nuke so you can get more? <laughs> no, I can get more later. I want to put right. it. I want to do that at some point, but now I totally forgot that. Uh, oh, it's yeah. a three-star legendary actually. That's really annoying. Oh, no, it's a three-star three, three legendary. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm upset that my gun just bugged out and I can't leave aiming down sight, but... The fuck? That's a new one. I haven't had that bug before. I had a realization, by the way, that Vertebrates and Fallout 4 in this game are also Skyrim Dragons reskin. Uh, I, I think, like, literally anything that flies pretty much, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's like, like, Scorch Beasts are very obviously just dragons full on, pretty much. But I didn't, I didn't realize that it's like definitely reused for vertebrates. I'm guessing star field ships are the only thing that is vaguely distinct in any capacity. But even they don't really fly in circles. I'm sure if they ever add that, it'll just be dragons again. Where did it go? Oh my god. I love it when a Scorch Beast won't come closer than 200 yards to you. And just Sorry. flies in what I assume is like the lower level of the ozone layer. Thank you. Yes, you just, your presence. Like I legitimately, do you have a perk or something? That like, <laughs> is there something that makes them come down? It's because called the, pity. The second you show up, they come down every time. 
I think I just have that degree of strength in my bitching that they're like, fine, I capitulate. But Jesus, whatever, dude, okay. Click. It's like, you're bitchy and gay. That makes it worse. Did the robots show up too? Yeah. <laughs> Seems. Missile launcher you're shooting. It's, oh, this, this spawn is scorched. Yeah. It'll, it can kill them. They won't make it to the base. Oh no, your guitar lady is out here fighting. <laughs> She's got hands, dude. She gets mad. She's, yeah, she's Must crap these on that. purpose because these are just some random squash beast. Okay. She got Did, uh, she got fisticuffs. Did that manage to just happen without any of the cars exploding? Yeah, he never got to the camp. I just went over it. As soon as uh, the turret started shooting, I just went and fought him. Cool. All right, so I need to do meat cook in 30 minutes. I need to do a daily kill some dogs, kill some crabs, pick a lock. Okay, I just got to find a level zero lock. What the fuck? Am I, gonna... I can lock my base if you want. I can want you one it. Level. Won't I? Yeah, but I can just kill you immediately. That's true. I need to go to a base anyway because I need to take a photo in a teammate's camp. Oh, <laughs> take a pretty picture. <clears throat> do you want to do that or do you want to just find a lock? Yeah, we can do that. I'll just pick it and you can shoot me in the face. Hell yeah! I'm going to take a picture of Larkin's dumpster. Nice. Okay. Have the field on. Distance. Is it, oh, it's a photo mode picture? Yeah, it's a photo mode picture. I oh, even better. Well, the depth of the field barely fucking does anything. It might partially be because I have the weather thing up. Yeah, I got a picture of Larkin's dumpster. Yay! Uh, nuke slut. Nice. <laughs> nuke slut. Yeah. This little light locked. for that one. Dude, the fucking icon of everything. My it's god. pretty good. I have bad news about the fact that I'm fucking stupid. There we go. Where's your master infiltrator at, you fake Fallout player? Hey. Oh, I'm on pacifist. I have to turn that off. I'm also on pacifist. <laughs> I'm assuming Wanted overrides that. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Earth passes. Oh, there we go. No! Oh! Ah, oh, I was trying to damage you just enough that I could eat you, but it full killed me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's why you stopped. That's why I was going so <laughs> slow, yeah. That's why I was trying to uh, the I was like, what? Are we like. Man! <laughs> I wanted to eat you so bad. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, not, it's not fated to be. That's the second time you tried to eat me and it hasn't worked out because I just insta died. Uh, I was hungry. All he wants to do is eat his friend. I need more tasty. <laughs> In my fucking tin can suit. I had junk on me. <laughs> oh, literally the one Scorch Beast hide from that one I just killed. What's up, Mirna? How you doing? Okay, yeah. kill dog, kill crab. Now I'm gonna star. Do daily. I'm gonna go kill crab. Kill crabs, Clarksburg. To Clarksburg! Home of crabs! Oh god, my shoulder hurts. Fuck me. Have we nuked yet? I have bad news. Yes, we have nuked. We nuked and we then went, that was followed by literally the fastest fucking Scorch Beast Queen kill I think I've ever seen. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> she got ripped apart. Holy shit, she got annihilated. Well, they just kind of fire the cremator as you're walking and then you just hear enemies explode behind you. Ain't it the best? We gotta get you a holy fire to pair with that so you can just be nothing but like a, a fuel fiend. Just oh shit, I don't have any ammo for my holy fire because I gave it all to you. Oh, do you want some <laughs> ammo back? <laughs> I can make some, it's fine. <laughs> I just realized. You know, I don't know. People are getting the full dot. I don't know what was happening when I thought it wasn't hurting him because I hit him for five. It is. And he it's pretty dot. weird. Like it, it, it's it's a little all over the place. It might have something to do with the fucked up ass tech rate of the game. Yeah, it might like just fucking... be some wonky bullshit. Yeah, it feels like a realm reborn a lot of the time. Oof. <laughs> oh, look, I love a realm reborn, but the hardest fight in Final Fantasy history is Titan Extreme because it was almost impossible to dodge stuff. <laughs> the fucking servers were so bad back in the day. My God. Alright, there's all the Meyer lurks. I'm going to go kill dogs. Um, don't have a great 
renewable go-to for dogs. Uh, there's like the three on the road in front of the wayward. Yeah, that's the only, that's what I, that's the only one I know is the three on the road by the uh, wayward. World hop, yeah. Uh, um, so what's the daily up? Well, some of the factions have attack dogs. Yeah, raiders usually do, right? Raiders and blood eagles. It's robots. That's the least dog thing that exists. What about robo dogs? I don't think they have any of those. Well, what's the point? And if I go to the daily op and it's robots, it's just going to be robot fucker day. The silo completely full of robots. Go do a daily op against a bunch of robots. <laughs> nice. You want to do an encrypted. I fight a robot that thinks it's a fucking cryptid. Hold <laughs> that. Actually, you have not done the quest yet, so you have a free encrypted whenever you end up doing that. Getting a direct hit on a dog with the cream matter feels like I should probably go to prison. <laughs> like it's <laughs> they just fucking explode. You're hungry. I mean, it happens. Where else are dogs? I don't want a world have a bunch of time. Surely I can find some dogs. Well, I need to do a daily quest, so I need to go to Camden, which definitely doesn't have dogs. I, I wonder if Prime has hot dogs. dogs. I can kill some hot dogs. I'll do the shit out of that. Ugh. I had hot dogs for dinner the other day. Fuck it you. It was lovely. For Memorial Day, we, we, we were like, let's uh, be traditional. Have the, uh, the American cookout tradition. Yeah, we had I, I we had that, and then I, I had Mexican food the day before, and then for lunch that day, and then I had barbecue. I shit my brains out. It was awful. <laughs> the ice roaster 10,000 combo. Oh, for real, dude. It was rough. <laughs> Boomst. Good hot dogs, though. Are For there bad hot dogs? Buy, that's a, uh, no. It's like, I, I am a believer that the fucking $2 for eight Walmart pack of shitter dogs are still banging. Like, I, I don't think they make hot, hot dogs, dogs and right not here. good. I fucking oh, love hot dogs. They're really, you. really good. I love them so much. We, we remember to get relish, which is lovely, although it was sweet relish, unfortunately, but... Okay, Disgusting. Ready? Set, sweet relish or relish in general? Yeah, I mean, especially sweet relish. Yeah. But both. Ah, dude, relish, onions, chili. You... Okay, so you, you're, 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 like, mostly good. You're on the right track. Onions and chili are great. Relish is like, what do you, I mean, the, the optimal hot dog, very simple. Mustard. Yes. Is that it? That's it. Oh, no, no, uh-uh. No way, dude. Mustard, chili, onions, relish. Catch up every other bite. No cheese. Cheese is weird. It's not bad. It's just a waste of cheese. Hot winner. Hot winner. Just... Mustard. No, if we're doing just mustard. That's a sausage biscuit. You can definitely get some like other like there are other good combos, but they're all just like a little bit inferior to just mustard. No way. You're like the mind. chili and onions and shit. It's still good. It's just a little bit worse than just mustard. No way, man. I'm blown away. You like mustard, dude? I fucking love. Okay, you know what? Waffle copter. Waffle copter's got a point. I will allow sauerkraut. You like sauerkraut? But sauerkraut not is, is also good on the chosen hot dog. Sauerkraut and mustard, I will accept. Unbelievable. Sauerkraut's just relish if it was good. Sauerkraut is just it's relish. Like it's, it's, <laughs> sauerkraut's it's a relish. It's just relish, but yellow. It's what relish is supposed to be. God. Do you like coleslaw? No. I'm not a cabbage. Oh. I'm not a like a real cabbage enjoyer outside of like sauerkraut's a weird exception because it's like very fucking unique in its flavor profile i love good coleslaw sweet coleslaw should be illegal but bluntly my sweet son just told me you look like a porn parody kratos that's awesome that's, i'm not even mad dude like i'll fucking i'll fucking take it like that's hilarious i guess it's just the shaved head and the you know I, the beard is kind of getting that direction Christ, i can't dude. when it when it gets a little longer like this it is kind of that sort of beard this is like just the curved, the rounded Kratos beard. 
I can't I can't even argue with it other than the fact that like I weigh about as much as either one of Kratos's individual thighs. Oh. <laughs> I I was gonna say, does that make me porn parody a trace? But then I realized how weird that is. So I didn't say. <laughs> you could have just left the thought in your head entirely and just not brought it to the class. Uh, dude, I, I'm gonna any opportunity I have to talk about that lad, I'm gonna take. I love him so much. No, oh, trace is great. Like and it's, like, oh. it's very much like a dad game that fucking so many people relate to because it's like, man, I really feel Kratos and the toxic masculinity. But then when I play it, it's like, man, I really feel the Atreus and a dad with anger issues. <laughs> I, it's in the pile with Doom 2016 and that like, god damn, they had a franchise reinvention and holy shit, it was amazing. And then I kind of just wish they hadn't bothered making another one. <laughs> brutal. Ragnarok's finally coming to PC, so maybe I'll finally play it. And maybe I'll finish the first game. It was fine. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I like basically straight up 100% of Data Boy because I liked that game so much. It was phenomenal. And then Ragnarok just felt like, hey, you know what made a fuck ton of money? The first one. Make another one. Quick, go. I don't care if you don't have any interesting story ideas. Just do the arc again. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know how we had an entire game about the dad and the boy? Learning to come to terms with each other and, you know, it was a father-son bonding experience. Okay, just like undo all of that, make him salty and angry again, and literally just do the same arc. People loved it. They'll love it a second time. <laughs> Having not played it, it definitely reads to me like they wanted to make an Atreus game, but they had to add Kratos and kill the whole concept because, you know, it sells better. I can 100% see the possibility that it might have once been planned as just an Atreus game. Yeah. And that it would have been much better as just an Atreus game. Yeah, and it would have made a lot more sense to have a Ragnarok themed game where you play as Atreus instead of What the fuck Kratos. is One Violent Night? Oh, I remember so, that one. Never mind. Yeah, I have done that one before. One. It sounds so cool, but it's so nothing. I mean, that one doesn't pop very often. Yeah. Do you guys have any dogs? I don't know Carl Swanson. I made the mistake when I played the first game of doing it on the highest difficulty, and after playing for like two hours, I decided that I didn't want to do that because it wasn't fun, but you oh, have to repeat fucking everything. God of War 2016 on Gimme God of War is one of the hardest games I've ever completed. Like that, 100%. that game is insane. That one's in my yeah. mental trophy case with like original COD mod on Veteran and like I want to be the guy. It's yeah. <laughs> It was fucking insane for what it's worth if you persevere the first like five to six hours are by far the hardest that, that was my understanding it's, it's like just... every rpg ever once you get off the ground it gets dramatically easier but I feel oh that. my god the first like five-ish hours are so fucking yeah. hard after the the second or third time i got hard stuck i was like i'm not that interested in this game i just got it for free off of a friend's account and also fuck this so no, i yeah, restarted was... on the the difficulty below it and then by the time i got back to where i was i was like okay i just don't care anymore that sucks yeah it's fucking dumb to make you start the whole game over yeah i was literally i was gonna say i can 100 percent understand making you start the game over to go up to give me god of war why the fuck do you have to start over to go down yeah, it's, it's like literally just one of those things that exists to be aggravating. It's just what's the point other than just to be an asshole. I swear to God, the first fight in the game is the hardest. Yeah, literally the tutorial fight. The Dude, most frustrating part of that forever. game was having to go through like the forced tutorial 31 times because it's hard as fuck. And you I have to get all the tutorial prompts ever. and like the pause and confirm the pop-ups like every single attempt. It was a Holy nightmare. shit. That and then like the first... I remember it was one of the very, very early fights. I want to say it was the first fight that had like the slightly bigger basic bitch enemy. That was still just like the basic Draugr, but it was like the little bit bigger Draugr. Mm -hmm. That was the hardest fight in the entire game for me. It was literally yep. the first fight that introduced them. I'm so fucking bored. Like fuck the early game is so hard. No, it it's insane. I, I think I played it just off of doing Death March on Witcher 3, so I was like, and I was being told that it was uh, like Witcher 3, where the top difficulty is definitely the best way to play it. But it yeah, but like Witcher like 3 that. is like not very hard, though. It's like, yeah, not, I mean, that's, not why, really that's why you comparable. need Death March, yeah, because yeah, Death March is the only one that makes Witcher take effort and yeah, also there's, like there's, makes potions there's, there's, worth using and stuff. Yeah, there's a game at very minimal difficulty. That's honestly the whole reason I got bored of playing it, is because it. 
Like even on Death March, just had so yeah. felt like I had so little going on. My nah, tiny I, difficulty I, I like to engage my brain. It's also I hear a dog. Where is it? I hear a dog. Where's your attack dog? I hear him barking. I don't know where it is. How can you not find me? I'm in fucking power armor. I'm not hidden. Is he outside? I'm outside spinning around hidden vats. Hmm. I'll come over there and look for him. Okay. I may just have to hop for it. We'll see. The fuck? Why can't that teleport to you? There we go. I figured Blood Eagle camps would be the top blood eagle side attack dogs because like they do sometimes i fucking heard it bark or i'm going insane what oh i yes dog all right scooby removed this will be nice and quick that's correct don't worry i've located the dog who shoot at me that guy saw me fucking everyone with the cremator and he jumped in the water. Unfortunately, this is a Bethesda game. We don't have <laughs> mechanics like that. That was a good thought, though. <laughs> it should have Hey, helped. If, if the slow burning tank is the napalm <laughs> tank, then it should work in water, right? Doesn't napalm work in water? I don't know. I feel like probably because it's more like a chemical thing, right? It's not like yeah, yeah, I'm pretty you're sure actually setting water, them yeah. directly on fire. It's like they're getting their skin agent oranged into another dimension. I did a project when I was in eighth grade about Agent Orange, um, and I had like interviewed my grandpa who was in the Navy during Vietnam and stuff, and I did not know it was called Agent Orange. I thought it was called Asian Orange, and I turned it in with every single mention of it being called Asian Orange. My teacher didn't dock points or tell me that I got it wrong. Did I learned that later you? in life. Nope, she, she didn't tell me at all. I, I did not know for literal years, and it was like, oh, that makes way more sense. I thought it was like a weird race thing thought, where it's like yeah. Asian yellow, Asian <laughs> orange, they're on fire, or like... They call racism. it Asian orange because it turns yeah. the Asians orange. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was like, oh, it's like a racism what thing, okay. And it's like, oh no, Asian orange, that makes way more sense. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Um, yeah. So I... <laughs> this is a story I probably should tell on Twitch. But I'm gonna tell it anyway because I'm done streaming here soon and I don't care anymore. Um, when I was little, like... I don't know how little it my, it was probably elementary school i think this is like fourth or fifth grade uh so fairly shortly after my parents had gotten divorced and i started living with my stepmom and like every other child on planet earth i didn't get along with my step family because i'm pretty sure that just you know is how it works like there's an entire genre of fucking therapists built to deal with that but i had three stepbrothers who were all significantly older than me so i was in fourth grade and they were in like eighth or ninth grade so they're in like the pinnacle asshole teenager stage we were playing battleship like the board game battleship oh, no. it's not battleship related um but i just okay i okay, just jumping from asian orange to battleship has me worse it's way worse than that uh oh, no. so these guys were peak like dickhead teenager phase and i was a fourth grader and obviously step family they didn't like me either we were playing and he called his shot and it hit me it, it hit the ship and then he said boom n-word i'd no. never heard that word before no. I, I was oh, i was no. like what is that <laughs> oh no because i'd never I, like i just it was the first time i'd ever heard it oh, so no. then we keep playing a couple turns later i hit one of his ships and i say boom n-word as my step my stepmom walks no. in the room <laughs> And I got grounded for like a month. And I was like, I truly, and she would not tell me why. She would not explain it. She wouldn't say no. anything. It was honestly probably like the the origin point for me hating my stepmom for like 10 years is that I literally did the same thing her kid did and got grounded for a month and nobody would tell me why. Oh I, my God. I didn't know what it was. I'd never in my life heard it. I had no idea it was, like, obviously I didn't know anything. I did wouldn't say she's just like you know what you did you're grounded for i'm like i fucking don't bitch like what do you mean like oh, i never in my life got over it obviously because it's probably it's probably one of my earliest memories oh my god 
I thought I was gonna be you repeating the N word at school or something, not knowing what it no, meant. No, it was like immediately you know, after your, your and getting way more grounded in my room for a month. <laughs> oh no. I did not That's have so a fun. good relationship with my step family for like Ten plus years, and I think that was honestly a huge part of it. it was literally just that one event. Yeah, this oh. survived the car crash because I was in fucking like oh. fourth this gray when this happened. It's still stuck around. I don't have a lot of pre car crash memories, but that's sure as shit one of them. These guys didn't have a dog. On a lighter note, I found that a friend of mine has been using the Spanish word for the F slur on his friends because he was told that it meant like pal or friend or buddy fucking by someone who used to call it him it all the time. <laughs> That is one of the most classic trolls in history. Yeah. Is telling your white friend that some curse word yeah. is like buddy. Like yeah, so like literally OG like, like, like with I mean the boys. like Hispanic co-workers, he's been calling that. And it's like, how, how are you How have you not job? gotten stabbed? Yeah, like, like yeah, like, yeah, I guess they just realize you're a stupid white guy. <laughs> but like, it's so fucking funny. Ugh. Up until like age 25, I thought wet dreams were what wetting the bed was sometimes no, called. No. Oh no! Oh no! no. Peter oh, Carl, no. no! Oh my god! Oh jeez! <laughs> Dude, imagine being like, oh yeah, man, I used to have wet dreams until I was like six. And I was like, like, until? What? <laughs> like, what? What? what the fuck? I feel like if you said something like that, though, I feel like you would immediately realize what the problem was. Yeah. So I feel like that would put yeah. it together, but there are a litany of other ways that can come to light, and you're like, oh. oh. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. Oh, God. I didn't find out until recently that a shotgun wedding was, like, forced because of a pregnancy. I always thought it just meant doing it really fast. Oh, no, you missed the whole point of the shotgun meme. Yeah, so like it's like the hitman level of a shotgun wedding makes more sense. Like I it was literally two friends of mine like just didn't want to have to pay for a wedding. So they were like, yeah, let's just do it. And it was like, oh, nice shotgun. Wedding. And they were like, what are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this was Jenny like six months ago. I've never felt so stupid oh. in my life except for all the other times. Other side of that, um, when I was also super young elementary school, I was like second or third grade, me and my friend were yelling at each other because, you know, we're kids, as you do. And I called him a lesbian. And no. uh, the teacher <laughs> took me aside and he's like, well, no, he's, he thought we were just like, oh, using words you don't know with him. You know what a lesbian is? So I was like, yeah, I know what a lesbian is. He's like, what's a lesbian? I was like, it's a girl that likes girls because he's a girl and also he's gay. Uh, <laughs> 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 they sent my ass to the principal, dude. <laughs> I can't, That's so I can't, funny. <laughs> Oh my I was god! A I was a shitter of a child. That's <laughs> was, so funny. I was like... Dude. I was so mad. I was like, it was one of the only times I'd ever like... Because usually when they got called, I got called by the teacher, I like shut up real fucking fast because I was a little bitch. But like, I was just so mad oh at that point in time. I was like, no, because he's a girl, but also he's gay. Like, <laughs> Dude, like the, the double is crazy. <laughs> <It was> <laughs> I didn't, so I've funny. had to live knowing that the best roast I've ever had was when I was seven. So like, I'm, oh like, I'm never, God, I'm that. never topping that one again, dude. Oh my God. Fuck that me. That reminds me. I called my friend the F slur in 11th grade and a teacher was nearby and she <laughs> rode my ass about not being a homophobe. And it was like, woman, if only you fucking knew. Dude, you like, I was closeted, you so I couldn't her. tell her. Like, yeah, yeah, I was just like, oh my God. I know. Like, that's why. Oh, hey. You're in jail, like, there's nothing you can fucking do about that. Yeah, it was like, I'm glad you feel so strongly about this, but don't direct it at me! Oh. Oh, it was... Yeah, <laughs> it's it's it pretty fucking funny. Oh, man. I don't have a lot that survived the car crash, but the stuff that did is either really depressing or really fucking Dude, funny. It's, oh like, it's one of the two. You're a girl and you're gay. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> I, that made sense to me in my, like, third grade sense. brain. It's awesome! <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. That was the that was my peak elementary schooler insult. <laughs> that was the unlimited power card. <laughs> oh god, we used to just call you the gay wad all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, we, that's just the like the playground classic is anything low effort like that. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing, I was the times. only kid in my high school English class who knew what a shotgun wedding is. Apparently, that's strange knowledge in Idaho of all places. Of course, it's strange knowledge in Idaho. 
they're gonna get married at 16 at the same age they're wanting to get pregnant anyway there's no need for the shotgun like, they're, yeah. already, they're already doing that like it's, that's just normal that's just called a wedding i love mormons they are far and away the nicest fucking people i've ever lived around but by god they're insane oh uh, thankfully you're white <laughs> Yeah, I mean, okay. Hey, I'll have you know that while I was living there, God decided to change his mind about black people being black because their skin is full of sin. And he said, never mind. Uh, so, coincidentally, it, it, right about the time that started like becoming- you're joking. No, that's a no, no, very real thing that happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 it sounds like bullshit. <laughs> very real thing that happened. <laughs> oh God. Coincidentally came around right along the time, but there was no conceivable way they could keep getting away with that. So, you know, great timing for God. Oh. That's awesome. You're gonna be that was within living memory. I was there for that. How many fucking Blood Eagle camps I have to kill to find a second dog? <laughs> I've just been walking from camp to camp, just fucking murdering Blood Eagles. I'm just, I don't, where would dogs spawn? I don't know, Blood Eagle camps is the best idea I've got. I've got. It's like, surely there's a kennel. Do you think mutant hounds count? I doubt it. I wonder but... if it'd be better to just go up to the pee pee poo poo zone and just run around because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like wolves up there. But yeah, I would just be running around at random because I don't know where they would be. Wait, isn't there that there's a house uh, where the ghoul guy comes out of the porta potty? Aren't there dogs <clears> near <throat> that house? I don't know I don't where it know. is, is the problem. Sure, I could also be going to primal cuts. It's very likely wolves would be spawning at primal cuts. I, I didn't think about that. Honestly, it said canines. My brain just went to like attack dogs. I forgot wolves also existed I until pretty to, recently. What? I want more crazy childhood stories like these. I'm, I'm trying to think of some. There's yeah, so I'm, I'm racking my brain, but like I don't have a lot. I really like my memory got absolutely dusted by the, the car crash. So it's only the big ones that stuck with me. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm sure I got some more in there somewhere. But I'm sad that I... I lost most of my funny childhood memory stories to a vehicular incident and then all i got in exchange was a shit ton of driving anxiety <laughs> so that was an ass trade oh god just be gay then you don't have to drive anymore do not see the connection i gays can't drive i don't know why it's just a thing it's weirdly prevalent. <laughs> I love, I mean, I don't know what else they're gonna do, but I love that when I walk up to a, a camp in fucking full power armor with a cremator, and a dude runs at me with like a butterfly knife. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, again, I don't know what your alternative is. I, I think run the other direction. Probably is, is what I would go with were I you. That seems smart. You're gonna run into fucking dude in power armor with a little switchblade and be like, I can take him. He ain't fought me yet. <laughs> <That's> like... <laughs> I think this that one... just made me think of all the I can take him. What in a fight? No, me. <laughs> Which I love so much. <clears throat> I'm starting to think these people are on a substantial amount of drugs. You know what? Shut up. I've got uh, some news for you. How deep are you in Vegas Questline, by the way? Have you done any of it? I've not even fucking started. Got it. So I put Beckett away for a funny guitar lady because she could sit behind the desk, and then I've just been doing main story. Makes sense. Because I, I wanted to get the nuke. Now that I've nuked, though, I'm, I'm, I can go back to doing other things. Now I can work on the settler quests and the, the people quests. Yeah. Beckett's the only one that I've gotten so far. It's like a guy with a name. But I have, again, pretty much just been doing the main story. Got it. I wanted to shoot my nucus. Is there a dog out here somewhere in the woods? Just like a dog. Hello, random group of cultists. <laughs> The number of guys who actually think they could take a moose in a fight. I moose think, are so I think, big. 
the overlap between people who think they could take a moose in a fight and people who have never actually seen a moose is 100 percent i i mean i am aware that people are dumb but in even in a world of anti-vaxxers and flat earthers and the american political system i don't think anyone is dumb enough to have like actually in person seen a moose and go yeah i could take that like there's just no way yeah they are it's like seeing a gorilla and thinking <laughs> you'd have a chance except the gorilla has giant fucking battle axes attached to its forehead like it's they're like they're like two times the height of a car no they are massive like it's fucking crazy how big it's like Anyone hearing this who has not actually seen how big a moose is and has only heard this and is like, yeah, yeah, I know, I've heard how big me moose are. You fucking, no, you don't understand. Google it, dude. You truly Google do it. not. They They're are so, so big. fucking big. Uh. Literally like double a car. They are massive. They are fantasy monsters. They are not a real animal. <laughs> they do sit in that sort of platypus zone. That's a that's a sh weird. that's some shit a dude came up with for a D and D campaign. That is not an animal that really exists. Oh, you just reminded me of the gazebo story. The dread gazebo. <laughs> it is too late. The gazebo oh, has awoken. <laughs> I found mole rats. I am confident I could take a bear, but that's just because I have before. Dogger face. <laughs> too easy <laughs> why are you like this because i'm broken a super mitten yelling you can't kill us all when oh. there's two of them meat cook yep i gotta come to meat cook and then i'll try and find the dog afterwards oh whoops <laughs> I, 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 I turned around, there was a mole rat behind me, and I shot at him, and I saw a little guy, that, like, the little prize bot's like, you're the winner! And the cream hitter just hit him, and he fucking exploded. Oh, there's a guy here named Moron Moron. Oh. And Money Hustard! Money Hustard is such a good name. Money Hustard's a banger. Dude, a friend of mine introduced me to a site called Zimbo Land recently, which is like Neopets, but you make your own custom bimbos and himbos and run for government <laughs> office. Jesus. And I have been trying to think of a good name for my bimbo, and it is so hard. Johnny Bravo. Nothing I can come up with is clever. No, it needs to be funny. Like, it needs to be funny and bimbo -y oh. and maybe a pun. Nothing's good enough. Bonnie Dravo. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> But Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, baby! <laughs> oh, this guy has like Enclave huh. bright light armor. This looks cool. Oh, that is pretty neat. He's got like a fucking alien suit. He's got like the little party head. <laughs> <laughs> a little party head is pretty good. Mirror ball blue? That's new. Give me all the fucking suitcases. I got a. Uh, I'm considering putting a prime receiver on this Gatling laser. Yeah, I would do it. Because I only pull it out for like boss DPS. Yeah, so it's like. I feel like it makes sense for that to be like the big murder weapon. Because all the yeah, trash I'm just easy to do as well. I would. Yeah. I have been trying to reload when my plasma cores are low, so I have a big fucking stock of like one to eight percent charged plasma cores. You meant Gatling plasma, right? Uh, plasma core, yeah. The thing. Yeah, that okay, oh, yeah, oh. De definitely prime it. Then yeah. Oh, what did uh, I say? I, I, mine's prime. You said Gatling laser. Oh no, yeah, Gatling prime, plasma is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, prime that for sure. Hundred percent. Oh, I'd run those cores out. Fuck saving extra ones. I thought you said to run them low because then you can turn them into an ultra sight core and it's at 100% again. Oh, you can. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. With, with that yeah, yeah. plan, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and then I, I was just going to. Like there was a recharger or something and it was like, oh, no. no. That was just gonna... if it was, that's not worth it. No, yeah, you should be able to do that. I was going to do that and then I was just going to put all my full ones away, turn all my little tiny ones into ultra sight cores and then 
probably put the rest in my vendor. Smart. I'll tell you right now, plasma cores are probably not going to sell, but eh, whatever. Plasma cores and fusion? Oh no, fusion cores are the ones that sold like fucking immediately. Did they? Yeah. Is that, wow. Do they not usually? No. Dude, earlier, I, I the other day I hopped like fucking 12 worlds desperately looking for someone selling fusion cores. That's surprising. Bought his entire it's fucking impossible stock. to run out of them. How? You literally only go down. You don't go they up drop unless from you... every fucking event you do. Yeah, it's like 20% charge. That's more than enough. A lot of them are 100% though. I, feel like I never get 100% ones unless I, I find them. I... Unless I find them in like the little uh, generators just that are around. I, I never pick up fusion cores ever or buy them or anything. And I just have a constant supply. I got rid of all my extra ones because it was I had like 30 in my thing for literal years throwing the extras on the ground. Humans win meat cook. I guess you walk around in power armor literally all the time, though, which is not what a lot of people do if they're a power yeah. armor build. I mean, I guess I should just, like, get out of it when I'm not. I mean, it's fine, but that that's that's definitely why. Like, if you were only throwing it on for daily ops and stuff, you'd be... That's, I positive. do just fucking wear it all the time because I'm lazy and I don't like getting in and out of it. <laughs> I just hate how it feels to walk in it. It feels more floaty to me for some reason. Yeah. It, it, it does, uh, which is interesting because it should be the opposite, right? You should be like super fucking grounded. Big, yeah, bumpy I, I steps. don't think it actually is any different, but it feels like it is, I think, because of the sounds and the HUD and stuff. I definitely do not like and the HUD. I... Turn it off. You can turn, wait, you can turn the power armor HUD? Yeah, it just gives you the regular HUD. It just has a little fusion core marker at the bottom. How, you, how? Uh, option. I didn't fucking know that was a setting. I thought I had told you that, but probably before. Bro, uh, oh my god! I half builds. the time I play in third person just because I hate this HUD so yeah, much. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, enable power armor HUD is in display. I just found it. Yeah. It's oh so my god, that's it's so much so better. Much better. Yeah. Holy shit, tomorrow. dude, that is life changing. No, I've. And yeah. Seriously, I have been doing a lot of the quests and stuff, fights and stuff in third person just because it's less annoying. I do not like playing this game in third person. But it was the better of the lesser of two evils. I feel it. Yeah, the HUD's really cool, but it gets tiresome very rapidly. Oh, the road dogs respawn, so I'll just fucking kill them again. Oh, mission, that works. Mission accomplished. And so things do respawn categorically. And, yeah. Well, hey, congrats! Your game looks good. Yeah, thank God. I, oh my God. It's just so big. It's, like it's yeah, really it, cool, but it's way. It's too really intrusive. noticeable when you uh. You want to say something crazy? I, I think this will this will probably work. Let me. Is there a terminal in the wayward? Uh maybe. Where's I, I need literally anymore. any terminal. Um, Smiley's in there, by the way. The guy can't you or you might not have him unlocked yet. Actually, never mind. Uh, Surely the wayward's got terminals. Does it need to be locked or unlocked? The ID unlocked. I just want, I want to use it. I want to bring up the interface. There's a, definitely a terminal in Flatwoods. What the south fuck is you? Flatwoods? Oh. It's the little town south of the Wayward, the tiny little one that has like the church in it with the responder stuff. Oh, over um, yeah, 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 overseer stuff. That'll work. The power armor HUD is so big. I guess I, could, I don't want to walk right down there, so I can just tell you. The power armor HUD is so big that it puts your team roster so close to the middle of your screen that it is over the top of the terminal screen when you're what looking the at the terminal. Yeah, it's it's insane. You have to like read through it because it overlaps the actual term. Uh, now I do want to go show you. It, it literally overlaps the terminal screen because Fuck that times a thousand. It takes up so much fucking space. So yeah, I a thousand percent just want the regular HUD. You still get yeah, the noises and the, the animations and everything. So yeah, you still have, and like, you can also you power can tell that you're taller as well. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, by God, this is so much better. It is For way real. too fucking big. I do. It, it's. I appreciate that the setting is there. It's like yeah. Final Fantasy XIV. I'm glad I can turn off whatever the fuck the Black Mage class indicator is <laughs> and just make it a meter that a human can read. <laughs> you crazy, like, star chart looking thing. <laughs> you literally an entire fucking laboratory's worth of information. And I don't know what any of it means. <laughs> Please just give me a meter and a timer. Thank you. Oh, that's so fucking funny. I actually reinstalled it the other day because there's that free campaign. I was going to catch up on the Oh, yeah, you can, patches, you can play for free for like a week or whatever. I got so bored, I immediately uninstalled. Oof. Which I mean, I'm kind of glad about. Like, I, I would like to be caught up so I can just know in my brain that if I ever want to play Don Trail, I don't have to do anything. 
but I I just don't care. Rip. I think I'm just past it forever, and I sure hope so. Okay, so look. Look at my stream. It's over the fucking terminal. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. That's so stupid. <laughs> this is graphic design. Well, UI design is my passion you, right here. You can it's, definitely tell that it's because <laughs> the, the, there wasn't hand a jobs. team HUD in, in Fallout 4, right? Thank it you to follow. It. Damn, dude, I'm so baked about watching on mute and all started crying so until it was done. That doesn't make it any less stupid. It's okay. You're safe now. Yeah, it's, crazy. What's crazy is it hides the helmet part. Which yeah, is the reason it needs it... to be in the middle, but it still it keeps at least it turns it kind of transparent, but it puts it over the fucking terminal. It's so bad. Does this game have a HUD transparency setting, or is it only Starfield? Actually, that just made me think about that. <clears throat> I wonder if I could have come in here and oh, it does murdered have this lady's dog if I felt like being the world's biggest asshole. If I really oh, yeah, the daily's done not. at what cost? <laughs> Well, he's a, he's a good boy. I launched my nuke. Hell we yeah. launched our nuke and we absolutely fucking disintegrated the Scorched Beast Queen. Yes. Mission complete, brothers. Main yes. story cleared. Thank you, Larkin. You're very welcome, your my aid. friend. It was some good shit. It was. That's going to be it for me today, though. Everybody, sorry to start late, but tomorrow, I'll be on for Pathfinder. Bye, Larkin. Bye, buddy. Bye, chat. Tomorrow. Pathfinder, twitch.tv slash UGT show. You know the place. You know the things. We had to miss last week because we were down a couple of people, and I think we're still going to be solely list tomorrow. We're not going to have our gnome psychopath wizard in there, unfortunately. But that's okay. Because at the end of the day, we have four other people to be insane in her place. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for being here. Hopefully I see you tomorrow, but if not, enjoy your weekends. Goodbye, everyone.